Hey my friends, welcome back to another video about automation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a powerful CRM system in under 10 minutes that's going to help you better manage your leads and clients and also use it as a trigger to your first automations. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step that um, we're going to do here to create our CRM on Monday um, is to, of course, create a new board, and then you can name that board. I just added here is a CRM. And then you can select if it's a main or if it's just a private, so only you can have access to it. And then you can select the type of item that you're going to have on this board. Here, we are not talking about tasks or projects. We are talking about leads. So you can select leads, and then you can select create board. Okay? Okay, cool. So now you have your CRM board and what you should do next is to start creating the different statuses of um, each lead that is going to make sense to your business, of course. So let's go to this column here. You can even change the column type, but anyways, you can go to settings customize status column and you can create different statuses here for your business. So let's create one here. That's if the client is one, if it lost, let's say that it is qualified and create a new label here. Um, qualified, then you can create one of follow up for example, follow up. Then you can have, let's say contract sent okay so those would be your um statuses for um this for this column here for the status column um and then what you can do is to match the statuses for each um group here on the um, on the crm so you can have qualified you can have lost you can have contract sent follow up and what else do I want unqualified so let me just move this group here down here is lead so you have lead you have qualified you have contract and follow up which should be up here contract and qualified and lost okay great so now what you should do next is to add different columns for the kind of data or like the information that you need from that lead. Okay, so let's say that, um, let's say just a text here that you can add just, for example, company name. You can add, let me search for email and support. Then you can have website. So you can rename this website. Then you can have a drop down for, for example, source. So you can have, for example, your source can be LinkedIn. You can have um, email. You can have Twitter. You can have, for example, referral. Yeah, so let's just add those four options here. Source, then you can have, um, for example, revenue of the company. You can have one for industry which is helpful as well. And then the last one will be for numbers, um, lead value, right? So how much you're going to charge for that lead. So you can then have a sum of all the deals that you have here. Okay. Um, great. So again, of course that for the columns here and the data that you should add to the, to the CRM should match the type of data the type of information that you need to have for your type of service or product, right? So um, it's important that you have all the information that you need here to create a proposal or to send a contract, for example. Okay, so that's that's really important. Okay, great. So once you have all the data here, the next thing that you can do is to create very small like automations using um, the automate feature of Monday. So what you can have is, what is the status changes here? So just so you can organize your CRM, 
you can say, for example, if the status changes to qualified, then move to the qualified group. Okay, very basic automation. But again, this is um, helpful to keep your CRM organized. Okay, so you can do the same thing for all the other statuses as well. Okay, let me just to I'm just and I forgot the one group, so let me add here the one, which is the most important one, of course. Okay, cool. So we have one. Perfect. So now when you change the status, let's say to follow up, the lead will, will automatically go down to follow up like this. Okay. Again, so you can better organize your CRM. Okay. Um, another, another column that you can add here that's helpful maybe for your type of service or, or, or product you can add, for example, proposal sent. So you can manage if you have already sent the proposal for that lead or not, which is again, another helpful column to, to have here so you can manage um, the leads. Okay. Okay. So now, as you can see, you have all the, the right groups here and you have the right columns in the right data. You can see that it's very basic. Um, it's a very basic CRM here that you can create very easily in like in under 10 minutes, the same way that I'm doing here, that will help you a lot to better manage your leads, to better manage your clients. And then that can be the first step for you to start building automations, right? So let's say that um, you want to create an automation to create and send a contract to your, to your lead automatically. Okay. So you can create an automation using make, for example, um, by when you change the status to contract send. So let's say that you change to contract send that will trigger the automation to actually create the contract and send the contract to your, um, to your lead. The same thing, for example, for proposal. So I just add this status for proposal. So let's say that um, you change the status as done and that's gonna trigger the automation to create and send the proposal to your, um, to your new lead, okay? And last but not least, when you change the status to one, that can trigger your onboarding automation with all these steps that you need to, to have there to properly onboard that new client to your business. So you can see that the CRM here not only helps you keep everything organized in terms of leads, in terms of like uh, statuses, in terms of like leads that you need to follow up so you don't um, miss any deal, but it also helps you to have um, all the other automations for your business, like the proposal contract onboarding, for example, you can, you can use the CRM to trigger all the other automations, right? So that's why the CRM is very, very helpful. And also another very simple automation that you can, you can create is that if you are using a software to book a calls like Calendly, you can start adding leads automatically to your CRM using Colony. So every time you have a new a new call booked, the new lead is going to be created here automatically on your CRM. So you can see that the CRM is very is is very helpful to manage your sales process, but also to start building the first automations for your business integrating all the different tools that you can have. Of course, then you on, on this channel, you can check other examples of automations for like onboarding, contract, proposal creation, but you can see that you can use this very basic, very simple Monday CRM as the starting point of all your other automations. Great, so I hope that by now you are ready to start building your CRM on money.com. You saw that it was very easy and um, basic to build um, a CRM that's going to help you better manage your leads. 
So let's get started, start building your CRM there. And as always, if you need any help, if you have any questions, just please click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you other examples and other processes that we can automate for your business. Thank you.